Hello, church family. I have some thoughts that I'd like to share with you in light of all the tension that's going on in our nation in response to the brutal killing of George Floyd. I was so grateful for Pastor Dan and Mark's beautiful clarion call to all of us to respond to the systemic racism in our nation by putting on righteousness and peace. The word that has been on my heart this past week comes from John 1, 16, where it is written, from, for from his fullness we all have received grace upon grace. This week I tuned in to George Floyd's funeral, and when I did, my heart was really heavy. I couldn't imagine the grief that his family was bearing. But what I found was a congregation of mourners who were rejoicing in the promises of God. In preparation for the service, the family had told their pastor, whatever we do, let us worship. Well, in, it was indeed a worship service, and it was filled with grace upon grace. At one point, a family member stood up to express her gratitude to everyone who was present, and this is what she said. We graciously thank you for your thoughtfulness as we all, as well as your kind words to our family. It is understandable that these are difficult times for us, but please remember that God's grace is sufficient. God's love is comfort in sadness, peace in weariness, healing in despair. He is always in our presence and his love embraces us. She says, remember, because he is our salvation, our shelter in time of storm, we are forever in his care. Well, this service for George was filled with words of grace upon grace, and it made me think of Peter's beautiful words about Jesus as written in 1 Peter chapter 2, beginning with verse 21. For to this you have been called because Christ suffered for you, leaving you an example so that you might follow in his steps. He committed no sin, neither was deceit found in his mouth. When he was reviled, he did not revile in return. When he suffered, he did not threaten, but continued entrusting himself to him who judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree that we might die to sin and live to righteousness by his wounds, you have been healed. By his wounds, may our nation be healed and may we church family be participants of this healing by extending grace upon grace. Grace to all of you, church family.